Brooklyn Independent Television. New Yorkers are always on the go. And most of the time, we're going by subway. Think about it. We can spend hours underground every day, and we're bound to get hungry. Now the MTA is considering a ban on subway eating, and it's giving Brooklynites food for thought. Brian Vines is with commuters downtown. Well, you've probably seen it by now. The subway smackdown that began with the steaming styrofoam spaghetti dinner. Well, we came to Brooklyn's transportation hub to find out what's the grossest thing you've ever seen someone eat on a train and just what you'd like to outlaw underground. You know that stinky spot with the broccoli and chicken and, and that rice that look yucky and it smells bad and you have to see there and you smell it, it works. Probably cold oatmeal. Probably soup. No matter what your personal tastes, subway eating can lead to litter and pest problems. But considering police issued less than 2,000 tickets for littering in the subway last year, is a new law the way to go? I wouldn't have a whole meal on the subway, but I wouldn't outlaw it. This vendor certainly has a dog in the fight. Yeah, and we give the full paper, and then we give the bag. We give the bag, packing like napkin, like a hotel. There is no anything wrong. Do you, know? you eat on the subway? Yeah, I am. I'm eating the subway. When I'm hungry, I need something. Hot dogs? Anything. <laughs> Some of the smells, like Indian food, and like I like it in a restaurant, but not on the subway. Okay. It's just the different smells, and I don't, I don't think there should be a law against eating in the subway. But I do think people should have some, uh, you know, common courtesy. That's a view shared by Metropolitan Transit Authority Chairman Jay Walder, who wouldn't endorse an all-out eating ban at the MTA's monthly board meeting, but urged riders to, quote, treat our subway system and fellow riders with respect. I think that extends to food as well. Walder also added that the system carries 5 million people a day, and he isn't sure a ban on food is practical or enforceable. But practicality be damned. In an online poll conducted by the Daily News, nearly half the respondents say they'd support a ban, and at least one young Brooklynite agrees. Are you going to eat that Chex Mix on the train? Yes. <laughs> Do you think it's okay to eat on the train? No. Her mother that takes a different you view. Know, definitely put your stuff in the trash cans, but to police eating on the subway and, you know, on a platform and stuff, I think that's, you know, beyond ridiculous. While commuters are split on eating, I ask Brooklynites to take a decidedly more dictatorial approach and share what they would outlaw underground. If you ruled the world, what would you outlaw underground? Oh, when people clip their nails on the train and the noise, and then you want to rip your hair out, that's what I would outlaw. No more ketchup. No more ketchup. No more ketchup. No more ketchup. <laughs> no, I just don't like ketchup getting squirted all over the place. Um, when you get on the train and it's crowded, take off your book bag so you don't be hitting people in the back with your book bag or your bag. Amen. Well, that's some of what we heard here at the Atlantic Terminal Station in downtown Brooklyn. We'll see you soon, hopefully not eating on the train. Watch this and other Brooklyn Independent Television episodes online at brickartsmedia.org slash BIT.